This is Jeff Weiss starting again with Unit 1 of HRT 211 inter, uh, Plant Propagation. Uh, in this uh, lecture I'm going to give you a brief overview and orientation to the class and in a second part for this unit I'll give you a brief overview of the uh, field of plant propagation. So there's a photo of me engaged in one of my um, activities when I'm not teaching at CLC. I'm uh, actually uh, dressed for chainsaw and uh, a lot of the work that I do is ecological restoration in some of our natural areas, forest preserves, parks, etc. And there's my contact information. Please feel free to email me or give me a call on my, and leave a message on the campus phone number. I look forward to hearing from you and uh, uh, am interested in uh, both uh, seeing you succeed in this class and addressing any issues that come up during the class. So um, each week I'll flash up a slide with uh, class business. Uh, it'll be reminders of work that's due or various topics that come up. And for this week, um, I'm just asking you to uh, enter a self-introduction uh, in the enter system and to complete that and respond to your classmates' self-introductions by Saturday. Uh, See so if you can get a copy of the textbook and read chapters uh, 1 and 2, but that reading assignment is for both units 1 and 2, so you got a couple of weeks to, to do that. Uh, and then each week there'll be uh, learning outcomes for the unit. Uh, for this week, um, students should be able to access the online course materials and resources, understand the course requirements and grading criteria, uh, complete a self-introduction and respond to classmates' self-introductions, follow uh, and learn and follow a set of weekly steps that are going to be required in order to keep up and succeed in this class, and based on the second lecture for this week to describe a little bit of the history of plant propagation and why it's a worthwhile field of study. Uh, each week you'll have key terms and concepts. For this week uh, the, it's uh, primarily orientation material and uh, introductory material about various uh, plant propagation uh, subjects. Uh, some other uh, resources uh, that you'll have for this class include me. Uh, I have office hours and probably the best uh, place to catch me is uh, before our lab sessions. We're going to be having eight lab sessions on alternating Monday nights starting January 27th. Uh, but you can also reach me via email uh, and uh, the um, office number or the, the, the CLC um, phone number extension that I gave you earlier. Other resources include this enter system that you're currently using. Uh, the syllabus is available and you'll have weekly content under uh, 16 units uh, uh, and all of the content uh, will be consistent in format. There'll be a, a lecture, uh, PowerPoint slide announcements, uh, assignments and each week a uh, discussion board for you to complete. There's two textbooks. Hartman and Kester's Plant Propagation uh, is available at uh, the CLC bookstore for about 115 bucks. It's loose leaf and it's a very good uh, detailed textbook but it is uh, available also older editions are available online for a small fraction of the cost of the textbook new. Those old editions will work fine. And uh, I, I don't really, I follow the flow of the text, but I don't get into nearly the detail that the text does. Um, you might want to um, get into that detail for your own learning um, uh, objectives, but you'll definitely need to make reference to that text to answer some of the uh, exam questions during this class. And then a totally optional textbook is the American Horticultural Society book on plant propagation. It has uh, nice illustrations and, and very practical suggestions for how to use the uh, plant propagation techniques that we'll be covering during class. 
So the weekly course content, I've already described some of this, will include an announcement. Uh, the announcement uh, will vary, but I uh, frequently acknowledge the work that you've submitted, uh, give some uh, ideas for uh, in improvements, um, or uh, just pass on other information uh, uh, relevant to the weekly unit or what's going on at CLC. Uh, then there's also the, the weekly readings. Uh, each week I try to put in some videos and YouTube is a great source of information on plant propagation and horticulture. Um, uh, folks who grow things love to share their tips and information so uh, I strongly recommend that you look at some of these YouTube videos that are posted each week. Uh, there's a recorded lecture in one or more parts and a PowerPoint document each week you'll have a discussion question uh, or in some instances perhaps a study made exercise. Study made is an electronic flashcard system uh, that I found somewhat useful in um, helping to memorize large numbers of terms which might get thrown at you. Uh, there's an assignment for most weeks uh, and then uh, uh, on occasion I will give you a survey and, and getting your feedback uh, to that survey will be very helpful to me too improve this class uh, going forward. So for the course as a whole there's a, a number of learning objectives. I'm not going to read them to you. They're in the uh, syllabus but I would like uh, to quickly touch on them uh, so that you get an idea of what uh, my objectives are for uh, what we'll accomplish together in this class. And if you have any questions uh, uh, this might uh, um, prompt them. So uh, first uh, get a, a basic understanding of plant science and that's really where the textbook comes in uh, and uh, the textbook goes into uh, great detail in a variety of, uh, uh, of topics that um, describe and provide great detail into the uh, uh, science of uh, plants and plant propagation. Uh, and then uh, in particular, uh, you're going to be expected to de uh, demonstrate a, a detailed understanding of some of the science of how plants propagate themselves, both through uh, sexual means, through seeds, and asexual means, through uh, vegetative uh, techniques. And, and plants are pretty amazing in the range of different strategies they have for uh, propagating themselves and uh, it's most of our success as plant propagators is achieved by uh, understanding uh, how the plants propagate themselves and trying to create those conditions artificially so that uh, we can uh, help that help those processes along. We'll um, cover a range of contemporary plant propagation techniques, um, talk about the growing um, conditions uh, such as soils, climate, pests, human practices and technologies that impact plant growth and development and how to adapt them to improve our success in um, uh, growing and producing uh, large numbers of healthy plants that meet our, uh, that meet our requirements. We'll discuss uh, some of the key issues that affect the plant propagation industry and uh, aligned with that we will uh, talk about uh, career opportunities and recognize the skills that employers are looking for uh, from their employees uh, that will um, affect their success um, going forward. And finally uh, a range of practical skills including uh, using information from reading, web searches, videos, and assigned activities uh, we're going to uh, be observing and drawing uh, botanical forms and structures. Uh, we'll be designing, you will be designing, developing, delivering, and presenting a class project. Uh, more about that to follow. Uh, we'll be learning and practicing safe and hygienic handling of plant materials uh, through our uh, work in the primarily in the discussion boards and in the lab sessions we'll be developing teamwork and collaboration with each other and uh, um, you'll have ample opportunity to demonstrate clear and effective writing and presentation skills. 
So there's um, several components uh, that will uh, collectively determine your grade for the class. First are the weekly discussion boards. Uh, next are uh, 10 assignments. There's not an assignment every week and, and some of the assignments are uh, double credit. So uh, some of the assignments are worth uh, 20 points but it'll be clearly uh, noted if it is a double assignment. Uh, we'll have, as I mentioned earlier, eight labs over the course of the, uh, uh, of the term and each one will have a grade of uh, up to 25 points. And then uh, over the class, over the uh, semester, um, we'll be, you'll be uh, uh, given more information about a class project, which will include a, uh, a written report and a presentation that you will create and uh, post on YouTube. And finally, uh, there'll be three unit exams, uh, no cumulative exam at the end of the semester, but three exams that will cover um, uh, the entire course and total 700 points. Uh, the grades are simply uh, 90 to 100 percent A, 80 to 90 percent B, etc. Now I want you to pay some attention to this because this is important. Uh, each week there will be a series of steps that you'll need to follow on schedule to achieve success in the class and to make sure it operates uh, uh, smoothly and efficiently. So um, there's three dates uh, to note. Uh, first, each Wednesday um, before 10 p.m. Uh, you should read the learning outcomes and the discussion questions for the week, uh, read the assigned chapters uh, in the textbook, uh, the listen to the lectures and the videos, and then, and this is the key activity, uh, post your answers to the discussion question for that week on the discussion board. Then you've got until Saturday uh, to finish up any other uh, work for the week and importantly to react uh, again on the discussion board to other students in my posts. So the discussion board is really where we come together as a class and uh, the timing of the Wednesday posts and the and the Saturday discussion is really uh, what dri will, will dr drive our success as a class. And then um, also Saturday, complete your weekly assignments and or the exam and submit your work via this enter system or via email. I'll take work from you in either form, either in the Dropbox and enter or as an email attachment. And then if there isn't a, uh, a survey, uh, complete the weekly survey questions and give me some feedback about how this class is working for you. Now the th that's Saturday and the reason why it's important to get that all done on Saturday is because the next unit will open that Saturday. So you don't want to be stuck in last week's work with this week's uh, assignment opening. And uh, so the course will operate with one unit each week starting on Saturday and ending on, on excuse me and ending on Saturday. Uh, so the, the other important day is Mondays and we will have uh, a lab at the CLC um, uh, horticulture building will be uh, in the greenhouse for much of that lab and that will be on Monday nights starting on January 27th. Uh, our Formal lab sessions will be every other Monday night, but I hope and expect to be there on the uh, on the other Mondays uh, to uh, provide office hours. And if you want to work with your uh, uh, lab materials, uh, I'll try to be there for you on those odd Monday evenings. So the discussion for um, forum for this week is and the assignment. Um, do by Wednesday is to start a discussion and introduce yourself in the enter discussion board. Uh, and then to reply by Saturday to the other students posts. So this is um, intended to set the tone and give you experience in how to use this discussion board. Uh, so for um, for this initial um, exercise, uh, write down uh, two or three paragraphs about yourself and if you want to post a small um, photo or a YouTube video uh, that would be just great. Uh, but 
Tell us about yourself. How long have you been a student at CLC? What's your planned course of study? What's your personal or professional interest in horticulture or plant propagation? Uh, previous uh, online classes you've taken? Or a fun fact or a story about yourself? Uh, any or all of this would be great. The idea is to get acquainted. And then once um, you have your own um, introduction posted and you begin to see other students' introductions, posted, uh, please reply to them. Be kind and welcoming and, uh, you know, start a conversation. Uh, ask them questions. Add, uh, react to their experiences and add yours. So this is going to be, um, as I said, setting the tone for how this uh, uh, virtual classroom and this discussion uh, board will work going forward. The one other comment that I want to make is I would like to see these um, posts, both the initial post and the uh, responses, to be loaded with information. So our, uh, uh, the main goal of this is to inform ourselves and each other on topics of interest uh, and, and, and topics that are where the information is, uh, is rich, interesting, and accurate. So uh, pay some attention right out of the box. Uh, about your posts, try to make them uh, 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 concise, interesting, loaded with information, friendly, and uh, collaborative. And uh, we'll be off to a very fast start in this uh, in this class. So that is it for this first lecture. I'm going to continue on another uh, on another video with a brief, very brief introduction to the topic of plant propagation.